Hello everyone, what is going on? Raven here, welcome back. Today we're at this, the Gamer.com website where we're talking about 15 Disney movie fan theories that actually got confirmed. Number 15, Finding Riley. Everyone knows that Pixar loves to include little Easter eggs in all of their films. However, fans quickly realized or theorized that Riley from Inside Out is one of the school children that are visiting the aquarium that Dory is trapped in from Finding Dory. Let me know what you guys think of that. Disney did confirm it in the link you know, posted in the official Toy Story Facebook page. Now, why they would confirm in a Toy Story Facebook page and not a Finding Dory or Inside Out page, interesting. Number 14, the little brother of two surprising princesses. For ages, the idea that Tarzan is Elsa and Anna's brother just seemed like another unrealistic fan theory. However... Frozen director James Book confirmed that Tarzan, Anna, and Elsa are siblings. He'd always imagined that Anna and Elsa's parents didn't perish in that shipwreck. And basically, had Tarzan died, you know, from the movie Tarzan. And the fact that he's actually a prince. Very exciting stuff. Number 13, the genie in disguise. Disney fans know who the bright blue wisecracking genie is. The peddler, however, is more mysterious. He sings the movie's opening number, Arabian Nights, and introduces the story of a magical lamp that houses a huge secret. But how does he know so much about the lamp? Well, the answer is because the peddler is actually the genie in disguise. Aladdin's directors later confirmed that this is a true thing. They had to cut the big reveal out of the final film, but the genie and the peddler are definitely the same guy. Number 12. Priya is queer. Turning Red is a coming-of-age story about preteens who live in Toronto, Canada. It was beloved by fans and critics, and their enthusiasm wasn't quashed by a vocal minority of haters. The four main characters are May and her friends Miriam, Priya, and Abby. And fans developed a theory that she is queer. It's not openly addressed in the film, but she seems to be attracted to both girls and boys. It turns out they were correct. Andrea Gall, a cinematographer for Pixar, said that Priya's attraction to a girl at the end of the movie is supposed to be a slice of queer representation. Number 11. It was all a dream. People love to speculate that events of TV shows and films take place in the lead character's mind. What if it's all a dream or all a figment of the imagination? Disney Channel's former flagship show, Hannah Montana, was no exception. For years, fans theorized that Miley Stewart's alter ego was either a dream or a crazy fantasy. So, Disney Channel decided to surprise everyone in the DVD extras of Hannah Montana's final season, an alternate ending was included, in which the events of the show were actually Miley's childhood fantasies. She desperately wanted to become a pop star, and as we know, the dream came true. Number 10. Hercules and Ariel are related. Hercules and Ariel might not seem like two Disney characters who are likely to be related. For one, Hercules is set in ancient Greece, while Little Mermaid takes place literally thousands of years later in the ocean. However, numerous Disney fans have noted that this pair both descend from mythical gods, and thus must be a family on some level. Well, let's see if what this is true. Turns out Zeus shares much more than just excellent facial hair with Ariel's father, Triton. Triton is a son of Poseidon who is the brother of Zeus, meaning Hercules and Ariel are first cousins once removed. So there you go, they're related. Number 9, a story of human destruction. Have you ever wondered where all the humans are in the Cards universe? Like Lightning McQueen and his friends clearly live on our planet. Cities like London and Tokyo are featured. Where are all the human in inhabitants? Where did they go? Well, Pixar creative director Jay Ward confirmed in an interview with Screen Crush that the cars did in fact get rid of every single human on the planet. Why? That's that's the question, literally. Number eight, Nala was banished from the Pride Lands by Scar. Well, have you ever wondered how exactly Nala manages to find Simba in the Lion King? It's made very clear that Simba's hiding out in a jungle very far away from the Pride Lands. Maybe Nella was out searching for food, but even then, it's a long way for her to stray. 
Would Scar really permit his captive lineages to stray so far? So a theory was that maybe Scar banished Nala. As Simba's closest friend, she was unlikely to have taken his end and Scar's rule very well. It's possible that she was sent away after causing trouble. Well, this was mere speculation until the Lion King musical premiered on Broadway and news on the madness of King Scar confirmed that Simba's evil uncle banished Nala. It's a bad move for him though, because it eventually led to his downfall. Number seven, a good reason for hating humans. One of the principal plots in Pixar's Monsters, Inc. is the fact that monsters hate and are terrified of humans. Why is this the case? It's one question that not actually answered in the movie. Fans are left to speculate about the cause of the rift between the species. Well, on the Monsters, Inc. DVD, it's revealed that the monsters once lived alongside humans in harmony. However, men eventually drove the monsters away due to their ugly and terrifying appearances. That sounds about right. Honestly, men don't like anything that's not like them. Moving on. Number six. Dolores may hear everything, but she can still lie about it. In Disney's Encanto, the Madrigal family is full of people with fantastic powers. One of them is Dolores, who can hear things at an incredible distance. She can overhear anything that anyone in their town said. At one point in the forum, Dolores is telling her cousin Isabella and her grandmother about Mariano. They hope that Mariana will propose to Isabella, but what no one knows is that Dolores is in love with Mariana. Well, we find out the end of the movie, but before that, no one knows. This led fans to speculate that when Dolores tells Isabella that Mariana wants to have five babies with her, that she is lying, in an attempt to scare Isabella out of the marriage. The theory was confirmed by Jared Bush, the director of Encanto, on Twitter. Number 5. The Enchantress was in love with the Beast We all know the basic premise of Disney's Beauty and the Beast. A selfish and cruel prince is transformed into a hideous monster that refuses to help the Enchantress, who is disguised as an old hag. Still, this always seemed like a bit of an overreaction. Wouldn't there have been a simpler way to teach him a lesson? Did the punishment really fit the crime, or is there another reason? Maybe the Enchantress was the Beast's scorned lover. Many fans thought that this made more sense than the usual I'm going to teach a small brat a lesson reasoning. The fish on Disney tie in novel The Beast Within actually confirmed the theory. How hath no fairy like a woman scorn, especially when she's a witch. So, a question about this theory. If this is true, why would this enchantress let the beast fall in love with Belle and want to be with Belle? That makes no sense to me. Anyway, moving on. The Incredibles take place in an alternate universe. Upon first reviewing, it's easy to assume that The Incredibles is just set in our world, except they have powers. However, when you actually take a look at its setting, things start to get confusing. On one hand, the world seems to have way more advanced technology than we do now, so maybe it could be in the future. No, the film's buildings, clothes, and general aesthetic all look like they are the 1950s and 1960s. Well, the only expl explanation that fans could come up with is the fact that The Incredibles take place in an alternate universe where it's still the 1960s. But humans have created new technologies at a faster rate than the real world. Turns out, they were right, and this was confirmed by the movie's producer, John Walker. Number three, Zootopia features a gay couple. When the live-action version Beauty and the Beast was released, much fanfare was made about the fact that it features Disney's first ever overtly gay couple. Le Fou and a random guy were seen dancing together in a romantic way. While this is a great step forward in the LGBTQ plus representation, it wasn't actually supposed to be the first gay Disney pairing. Zootopia was supposed to have that honor. Eagle Eye fans noticed that the 2016 animation had featured two male antelopes who are living together. They are presumably involved romantically. Disney later confirmed that the characters were supposed to be a married couple, but censors worried that this wouldn't get past various rating boards. Well, at least some progress was made, right? Number two, the reason why all vehicles and cars have different accents. Have you ever wondered why all the vehicles and cars have different accents? Like they're machines. You think they all have similar, if not the same voices. The cynics among you may say this just because the film's voice actors had different accents, but is there not a deeper reasoning? 
Again, the car's theory has a pretty sinister solution. Remember how I said earlier in the video that Jay Ward confirmed the car is quote unquote got rid of all humans? Well, in the same interview, he explained that the vehicles got their accidents from the last person who drove them. So it's a kind of a creepy reminder of the owner that they had before they got rid of them. That's horrible. And number one, Elsa gets her magic from a surprising source. While Frozen is undeniably a, gr a great film to watch, there's one important plot point that's totally glossed over. Where exactly does she get her magic from? It was never explained. It's just like she wakes up one day and boom, she could do ice magic. Instead of trying to work out why this happened, her parents simply suppress her abilities as much as possible. And we all know how that turned out. Nevertheless, some pretty wild theories sprung up about this. Could the planets be the blame? Apparently so, according to some Disney buffs and the movie's producers. In Frozen's first draft, Pabby, aka the leader of the Weird Stone Trolls, was supposed to explain that Elsa got her powers due to an alignment between Earth and Saturn. However, this was eventually cut out. Viewers were left in the dark until now, that is. You see, I always have the theory that because it is proven that Elsa and Rapunzel are actually sisters. So if that is actually the case, then that would mean that her powers came from the magical plant that gave Rapunzel her healing hair abilities. This was actually proven in a theory and... <clears throat> You know, it was actually legit proven that those two are actually sisters, and that Elsa and Anna are cousins. But, because she was raised with Anna's parents, they took her in as her own daughter, as their own daughter. And so they grew up thinking that they were actually related. But in reality, because think of it this way, Anna has reddish brown hair. Rapunzel has a goldish blonde hair. Anna's parents both have darker hair. And while I guess technically you could say that both Rapunzel's parents have darker-ish hair as well, but if you kind of look at the picture of the family, Rapunzel's eyes are like a greenish blue color. So it would make sense that her sister would have bluish eyes as well. Because I'm pretty sure if we look at the image of the family, her mother has lighter color eyes. And her father does too. So if we take a good look at the at the image of the parents, if I could find one close up that is. It's like he has blue eyes and she has green eyes. So wouldn't that make sense to have her, their daughters have blue and green eyes? Now, I know technically that doesn't necessarily mean anything, but that's just my two cents. Let me know what you guys think of this in the comment section down below. I'm going to link the link, you know, the website in the description. So if you do want to read the whole thing, since I did skip over some of this stuff, you can go ahead and read it all for yourself. If you guys do like today's video, make sure you hit the like button before you go. Also, if you're not subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And make sure you have notifications turned on. So you should be able to see every single time I upload, which is just about every single day of the week. And I will see you all next time. Bye!